What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If this, uh, if this is your first time tuning in, my name is Dalton Blackburn, and uh, this is Dealing Dirt. Uh, had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff going on here lately. Uh, I apologize. I know this probably sounds like a broken record to all y'all, but I apologize for the lack of videos. Uh, I have been videoing. I've got a few made up that I've got to get posted. I just, I've been working six days a week, around the clock, and I've been getting one day to rest, and I've been taking the opportunity to get rest, so. But, uh, I have, <clears throat> I have got a couple videos made, and they're pretty much done editing. I just got to <clears throat> put some finishing touches on them, and I can post them. Uh, they will be delayed from when I actually did make them. It's, it's been a month or a little more or so, whatever, since I've actually put up a video. Uh, so this one here, the one you're watching now, will be before all of them. So they will be delayed, um, but I will be getting to them. But I wanted to come on here and do a little explaining. Um, I've been working. I've had some other projects going on. Um, some of y'all seen the last video. We got that Camaro. Uh, we've been working on it. I've been trying to get what we done, could done to it. Uh, it moved my race car out of the shop, as you can see. I'm in my trailer. Um, I probably would normally be videoing in the shop. But it is a complete disaster right now. We've got it all, everything strode out from where we've been working on that car. Uh, so it's a mess. My trailer ain't much better. I've got crap thrown all over this trailer too. Um, these spare parts for the race car that we've picked up. Tools from other crap we've been having to work on. Got tires laying everywhere. Uh, but I've got to get this car backed out get this trailer cleaned up and cleaned out. I got a whole mess of tires up there that I've got to sort through and get ready. Uh, I don't, some of you may have heard, some of you may have not. Our local track is opening back up. Uh, today is, I don't even know what today's date is. We're in August. <laughs> uh, so, but August the 26th, uh, is when they're opening back up. I am making plans. We do have plans to be there and race. Um, still got to get this car set up. It's got to get done. Uh, my scales took a crap on me. So I don't know if it's the charger for the computer or if it's the actual computer monitor itself that took a crap. But my scales don't work no more. And I have no way to scale my car or it would have already been done. So I have no clue what this thing weighs. We changed everything, lightened up a bunch of stuff. And uh, so I may have to add some weight. I don't know yet. Uh, but I've got to get that done. i um, been talking to some friends of mine. Going to try to get something sorted out, maybe, hopefully. Um, I hate to... I hate to bum off somebody or ask for anything. It's just not my style. I hate doing it. Uh, it don't look good, but um, I need a set of scales. I gotta get a set of scales. But them things are expensive, and I've had to put a lot of money into some other stuff here recently, and haven't had the chance to get any. So, um, but got to get some of them and uh so we can get back to working on this thing i have no shop to work in right now because the camaro's got it took up i got too much stuff too many projects too many hobbies i like too much stuff i need to stick to one thing and just do it but i like too much stuff so but uh anyway we are planning to race 
Saturday, August the 26th. They have renamed it. It uh, formerly known as Friendship Motor Speedway. It is now called, uh, make sure I don't botch this. Uh, holy smokes. Ultimate Motorsports <laughs> Ultimate Motorsports Park, RV Park. Hold on, and I will find out for sure. Okay, yeah, so I completely botched that. It's Ultimate Motorsports and RV Park. Got it that time. Um, it just recently changed ownership, and they changed the name of it. And uh, according to the posts I've been seeing, they've got big plans for the place. Going to do a lot of stuff. And uh, so it's going to be good for the place. I think they'll do a great job. Um, knowing the businesses that they have, they will do a good job at it. And uh, I look forward to racing down there again. It's been a while. Um, I made a Facebook post recently um, about them reopening my hair. Look at that. I got a mop. I need a haircut. Pretty bad. And it's hot. It's freaking hot. Anyway, but I made a recent Facebook post about them opening back up and stuff. Um, I'm, I'm super excited that they're opening back up because they are 10 minutes from my house. Um, we wanted so desperately to travel around, go to different places and race. And uh, we still plan to, to try to get to some places. But it's just so hard to do it every week. It costs so much to travel and race and all this stuff's expensive. People who's in it, you know. But uh, it's, it's so convenient having that track that close to home to just load up, go 10 minutes down the road, and I'm 10 minutes back to the house. So. But uh, we, we, are, we plan to try to get to some different places. I don't know when that'll be. I can't set a date on it because I have no clue. But I've been having to work so much that I couldn't have even made it to any races anywhere anyway. Uh, being 10 minutes from home, that's not so bad to make. Uh, being three hours away, I can't, can't do it. I've been having to work all day Friday, all day Saturday just to try to keep caught up because you know the grass don't stop growing and we've had a lot of rain this year it's been a wet wet summer and uh, so the grass grows i mow yards for any of you that don't know i do lawn care and landscaping and uh yeah so haven't had the opportunities that we would have hoped for to be able to go and race uh but hopefully we will now uh can get caught up on some stuff and get back at it because i am ready to be back in a race car it's been killing me I got this thing fixed and got this new body on it and ain't even ain't even took it nowhere so we're pretty excited we made a bunch of changes to the car uh bunch of suspension stuff body stuff wrap it's gonna be completely different I have to just start from zero and figure everything back out again. So, um, got a lot to figure out. Uh, so, but just wanted to kind of come on here and give everybody an update. Uh, been super, super whack in the posting videos. Apologize for that. But, uh, said it before, say it again, hopefully. I don't bite my tongue again, but we're going to get back to posting videos. Um, I'm going to try to set a day aside. Uh, a specific day that I will post videos. That way everybody can tune in and keep caught up. So I'm going to set a day. It's most likely... It's either going to be probably Sunday or Mondays that I post videos. That's what I'm going to try to strive for. Um, just to kind of try to get everything 
compartmentalized down and get it uh, on a schedule so that y'all can keep up with it too. And uh, if you haven't already, go down and hit the subscribe button. It don't cost you anything. It's totally free. Uh, like, the, like the videos, that helps us out. Go hit the notification bell, select all. That'll let us, anytime we post anything, that'll just send you a notification, let you know when we post them. That way you can go pull it up and watch it as soon as it's posted. Um, we're trying to get to 500 subscribers. We're close. We got 365. I got to get to 500. We're trying to get there. Uh, y'all help us get there, please. Um, y'all support helps this channel so much, helps our team so much. We can't thank you all enough for all the support you give us, all the comments, everything. Uh, we appreciate it so much. It helps us out. And, uh, again, trying to get to 500 subscribers. We need 135 more subscribers. So, y'all share this. Get it out there. Let everybody know. And, uh. We're going to get back to posting videos. We're going to try to bring you all some good content. I know these little set down talks here are pretty boring. And a lot of people don't want to watch them. And uh, I understand that. I'm a pretty impatient person myself. But uh, if you would, if you've made it this far in the video, please share this. Get it out to everybody you know. Um, we would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And... Uh, we will see y'all soon. Oh, one more thing. Um, we've got some more things coming to the channel. Um, some stuff in the works. I can't reveal anything yet because I don't know exactly what all it's going to be. But I've got some more stuff going to be coming to the channel. Um, going to be going to be a lot of stuff. So y'all uh, y'all stick in there with us. Stay tuned. And uh, we appreciate each and every one of y'all, and we'll see y'all in the next one. All right, everybody, so got my other sticker put on the hood. He got it made for me. Bright Home Center, there. And uh, so I got scolded in my last video. I messed up a little bit, and I was aiming to correct it, so I'm going to correct it now. So in the last video, you know, I, I was talking about uh, the barn at Walls Pond and Bryant Home Center. Okay. So I forgot a major part about bonbons here. All right. So when you go to the barn at Walls Pond and you talk to them about setting up your wedding venue and your event, you get all that done, go straight to Jerry Bryant, Bryant Home Center, work out your new house. You can get him to build it however you want it, whatever. Go straight to Jerry, get your house. Okay, so in the midst of all of that that you're doing, go to Bonbons. Not only are they here for your tax preparation, finance planning, they can manage your money for you, do your taxes, get you some money back. They can do your automotive needs. But also, they got another store. It's in, it's the same place where they do all their other stuff. But they sell wedding cakes, they sell cupcakes, milkshakes, all kind of craft stuff, all, everything. So, my correction here is when you go to the barn at Walls Pond. All right. When you decide you're going to get married. Yeah, when you decide. Once you decide you're going to get married. Yeah, once you decide to get married. I'd say probably the first thing you're going to need to do is go talk to Jerry Bryant. You're going to need to get you a house lined up because when you get married, if you ain't got a place to live, that's going to kind of, not going to be cool. You'll be living in a cardboard box on the side of the road. That's no fun. So go to Jerry, get you a house lined up, buy you some land, whatever. Boom, right there. Get your house. So when you get that figured out, go to the barn at Walls Pond, get your event date, everything set, get that figured out. Then you're going to go to Bonbons. Going to get you a wedding cake. All that figured out. So then you go get married. You got your wedding cake there. 
all your stuff, cupcakes, whatever you have, move right into your brand new house. Whoa, nope, I done screwed up again. Oh, God. Back from the honeymoon, oh. then you move into new house. Okay, my bad. You go get friggin' married. More power to you. Got your wedding cake, everything, all that. Go on your honeymoon, and then you move into your brand new house. Boom, look at that. We got it all covered around here. And what's good about go. Jerry Bryant Home Center? It's turnkey. Once you go get a house at Jerry Bryant, when you sign the paperwork, when he's done, you're ready to move your furniture into it. Look Carpet, at that. Everything. It's hey, and this guy here does all the plumbing on them, so. Yep. You're getting some good plumbing done with them, too. And, not to mention, the barn at Wallace Pond, also, Trevor Wall does excavating, skid steer work, blah, blah, blah. He works, he does stuff for Jerry, too, with, on the houses. Moved into your new house. Then you can call Carolina Waterproofing and Home Solutions. Yep. And call them. Out, and they will install your cross place up where no water will ever get under the house. Yep. Completely waterproofed. Look at that. All right. Need you some new tires for your truck. Need an inspection. Got a state road tire. He's got you covered. Nathan's Tree Service. Look at here. If you need to clear some trees out on the property you just bought for your new house, look at there. Call Nathan. He got it. If you've got a race car, call Michael Tucker. Look at this. He'll get you figured up. Old day rail Daryl there, double barrel Daryl. Mr. Daddy. Happy Father's Day, by the way. Thank you. Yep. He does all the plumbing on them. And if you ever have a problem, need to run a service call, we got you covered on that too. You got 21 Motorsports, signs and graphics. If you go to MT Fabrication right there and you get your race car, you can go to 21 Motorsport Signs and Graphics and get a pretty new wrap put on here like this one. All right. So then we're moving on around here. If you need some home protection, go right to Elk Outdoors. They got all your firearms and ammo needs. Go to l, &L Home Improvements. If you want to upgrade your house, do some remodeling. Decks, porches, whatever. Right there he is. He's your man. Call Josh Luffin. Go to Ferguson Lawn Care. Well, I got a lawn care business too, but right here. This is the guy you need to call right here, Ferguson Lawn Care. Does a dang good job. Great dude. 67 Auto Mix. If you're in the need for any mechanic work, if you're in the need for paint work, parts, stereos, stereos high, performance. high performance, that's your man. Right there. He's got you covered with that. That's Jerry Brown again. Come right back here. If you need your cattle fence put around your daggone property that you just bought, that you just put your new house on after you just got married and come back from your honeymoon, look at there. Call Double L Farms, Ben and Chastity Well, and they will get you hooked up with a fence. And they got home raised beef. Yeah. How'd you get back your honeymoon? You can stock your refrigerator with their beef that they got. And then you got something to eat on. And then if the car tires up, you go to Advanced Auto Parts. They got all your parts needs for your automotive industry problems. By gosh, I think we got it covered. Hey, if you need a mom, <laughs> too bad you out of luck. Go get your own. Yeah, you're screwed on that deal because that's my mom. Go find your own mom. But, so, I think I've got all that corrected now. So that I don't get scolded again. I apologize for that first time. So I think I've got it all covered now. So if I missed anything, somebody let me know. I'm sure I probably did. I forget crap very easily. I got a lot of stuff going on. So what? What? After you get married, you get back from your honeymoon. If you need your car signed up. Oh, my God. How did I forget that? Before you go get married, if you need your car Go to Long Bros Detailing. If you need your car cleaned up. Rylan's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. But get you a brand new detail before. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Go get it detailed before you go on your honeymoon so it looks pretty dang going good. You're probably gonna fly or take a freaking boat to wherever you go. It's no, pretty much. Not if you're me, you're out. Well, not you, but. If you're me, you're gonna drive the John and get a motor. 
Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, ninety percent of the people is either on a plane or taking a boat to their honeymoon nowadays. So you can have it looking good while it's sitting at the airport waiting on you to get back. And when you get back where it's rained and everything, you got to drive it home. You can go get detailed again, so it looks even better. Go get your car detailed before you go get married, so they can string it up with cans and toilet paper it and everything. So yeah, now we've got it all covered. Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. And if you need somebody to tire up a race car. <laughs> and he good at it. <laughs> I got pretty good at it. I'm getting pretty good at fixing the daggum things. But, all right. So, I had to get that out of the way. We're fixing to stick this thing in the trailer. Not going racing yet. Sorry for the letdown, but... We are going, and maybe we can get somewhere with it, so we're going to get this thing stuck in the trailer, and uh, yeah. <laughs>